Hello everyone, this is Ian White with a quick DBA version 3 um, tutorial on setting up terrain. Every army in DBA has a listing for the core terrain type as well as uh, an aggression rating as you can see here. Um, various armies have uh, from arable through hilly all the way to a littoral and each of these core terrain types has within it a compulsory terrain types and some optional terrain types um, for example if we were take to take the um, the Seleucid would have a arable aggression two and if they were fighting the uh, romans usually have a uh, arable as well uh, aggression three um, so exam for example we would be rolling for the ptolemaic uh, ptolemaic what am i talking about the seleucid would have die roll two plus five would be seven and the Romans three plus three be six. So we'll be fighting on the Romans home terrain, which would be arable. So therefore, let me just shut this down. Stop sharing. Here we are. There's my little board setup. Right. The board itself is, imagine it divided into four quadrants, um, each of which are numbered one to four in a clockwise motion, from number one being the defender's left most quadrant, two, three, four. Um, the arable terrain, if you remember, has either two compulsory ploughs, that's a river, don't need that. Two compulsory ploughs are a built up area. So if I take two compulsory ploughs, and then between two and three optional terrain pieces. So we shall take a marsh. It's a big marsh. Look, it's still within the size limits. Yep, it's been nine within nine base widths, width plus length. And we can have a marsh. We can have a bit of rough going. Still within size. These are big, but these will show you some of the, um, the tricks of uh, positioning terrain that is what I will use for a gentle hill. So I'll just put these back. That's my road. I won't be using a road today, I won't be using a river either. And that's another piece of um, plough. That was over there. So these are the two compulsory pieces, and these are the optional. Remember, one, two, three, four. So we would dice for each of these. First piece of plow, six. Now, six indicates the attacker choose which quadrant it's in. Um, seeing as we don't have an attacker, I will position it for him. And the thing with plows is they still have to be mostly within the quadrant that's been selected, but plows can um, split uh, being between two quadrants, providing most of them is in the original quadrant selected. So they could go over there, and there must also be within one base width 
of an edge or another terrain piece to allow enough room for figures to go between. That's the first one placed. The second one is in route number two, which is that one over there. So as long as it's further away than one base width, it can go there. And then we come to the optional types and go with the gentle hill to start with. A one. Now the thing with gentle hills, they must be in two quadrants. So let's see, let's push it over here. There we are, that'll do. The next one is the rough going, huge rough going. Uh, one again. Okay, now I have to try and fit this in this quadrant without getting within one base width of either of those two pieces or the table edge. And it does in fact fit in, which is interesting. And the final piece, the marsh, is number four, which is all the way over here. So this is a very crowded table in comparison. Right. I think that um, it actually occurred at the beginning when we rolled the six. Now, for example, if I'd roll the six for this and the, the attacker would then select which quadrant it goes in, if the attacker had very few rough going troops, then perhaps he would say, oh, I want it to go in quadrant number one. And obviously it can't, it can't fit in there, so it would be discarded. And however, if he had lots of good going, bad going rather, or difficult going troops, you might well say, yes, let's have it on the table, it goes in there. As it did. And that is basically it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.